Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Just wanted to run through a quick tip or trick that I use when I deploy uh, routers. And it doesn't matter if it's Cisco or whatever. Um, in this particular case, it is a Cisco router, but this tip will work with anything. The problem I run into when I deploy stuff in the field is sometimes the technician shows on, on site, doesn't have that silly USB serial adapter, doesn't have a um, some type of telnet or terminal emulator to get in with a serial port, all sorts of crazy stuff happens. So this is what I do. I send the router out and I pre-configure the interface uh, first fast Ethernet 01 and 00 a certain way. I make the zero port DHCP, therefore if they plug into a network and DHCP is available, then they'll get themselves a DHCP address and they can get in that way. Or, failing that, they can use the static IP port. So the static IP port is if obviously there's no DHCP available or the technician doesn't know how to figure out what IP the router did get. Then I'll simply put in uh, an enable uh, secret password of enable and a telnet password as enter. So by doing that, now when the tech goes on site, plug in the router, you can immediately get in, or better, I can get in, uh, and then I can reconfigure it any way I want. So here we go. We've got ourselves uh, our console session here that uh, we've got set up with our router right now in the console port. And as you can see, it's just sitting there trying to obviously TFTP something down the wire, which we don't care about. And what I've shown people in the past, which they thought was kind of neat, was I use Notepad and I put in all of my commands ahead of time. So EN for enable mode, config T for terminal, uh, interface fast Ethernet 00 is going to be DHCP. Don't forget the no shut. Then interface fast Ethernet 01. We're going to put the static IP with a 24 24 bit mask, excuse me. Enable secret enable. And then we've got our first four telnet sessions enter. And then even, what the heck, the 5 to 15 enter as well. And two exits. I did not commit this to memory by putting a write mem yet. Uh, I just want to make sure this works before I do that. So I'm going to highlight all my commands. Right click, copy, and right click here and paste. And you'll see uh, there's enable mode, config T, interface 00, and there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. And as you can see, all the commands are done now. There's a million other ways to get this config in there. I know that, but this is just something I like to do. So you can see here in the status screen, uh, Ethernet 00, the DHCP port, did get an IP, 1044.10.113. And now, before I commit anything to memory, I can just simply open up a command prompt, telnet, and there it is. So I should just be able to type in enter, and then en, and then enable, and then show run, and there's my configuration. And if I'm happy with that, write mem. There you go. So now when it goes into the field, in case uh, we have all sorts of issues with console cables or the like, I can still get in with a standard IP address, either static or DHCP. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.